$5 Games presents Mighty Number no. 9. This is the first video game I heard about which had Kickstarter funding. Most thought it was going to pick up where Mega Man 8 left off as Capcom hadn't done anything with its IP in a while, and ultimately the result failed to meet the expectations of many people. I'm not going any further in the controversy than that, just know that there's a lot of negative impressions around this game. The story begins with it is the present present year, which is definitely a true sentence. Anyways, it's a futuristic robotic society where violence is confined to a coliseum, until one day when all of the robots go haywire for no apparent reason. Beck, also called Mighty Number no. 9, appears to be unaffected. After weakening other robots, he can assimilate them, which seems to kill the weaker ones and causes a reboot in the stronger ones. Working with a couple of scientists, he sets out to rescue the other mighty numbers and find the cause of the robot's erratic behavior. Gameplay wise, it's a side-scrolling platformer. The gimmick of the game is that when enemies are injured, you can dash through them to kill them. The longer you take to dash through them, the fewer points you get. Although you can kill them through raw damage, it takes a lot longer. The color the enemies produce when they're injured indicates what kind of boost you get from them. Blue is points, red is attack, green is speed, and yellow is defense. At least, I think it is. There's also this thing which can be used from the menu to replenish your life. Bosses are purple, and instead of killing them, dashing through them is used to confirm damage. If you take too long to dash through them, they rapidly regain the red portion of their life, which happened to me quite a bit on the ice boss, as being hit freezes you for a good 5 seconds. Similar to the Mega Man games, upon beating a boss you get an associated weapon. And although it uses a weapon meter, unlike the Mega Man games, the meter automatically replenishes while you have the weapon out. It is fun to dash through enemies, and doing a chain of dashes feels really good, but getting that set up was very rare. The only time that I had a big issue with this game was figuring out how close I needed to be to this turbine in order to dash under it. In hindsight, I should have just walked up to it until I died in order to learn how close I could be, but the checkpoint wasn't anywhere near, and I died anyways. I did enjoy seeing one of the bosses I beat help me out in a level, and I didn't mind one of the scientist's personalities, but ultimately I kind of feel meh about the game. It's not terrible, but but not great either. If it looks fun for you, then go ahead and pick it up. But if you wanted to play a Mega Man knockoff, I would actually recommend one of these games. For me, playing Mighty Number no. 9 feels like playing a different genre than the Mega Man games, even though they're both platformers. Anyways, that's a wrap for this game. Consider picking this game up instead of being assimilated.